Now, we, you'd mentioned when you were on uh, in the D-Day assault that you'd been at Pegasus yeah. Bridge. When we jumped over something there, because obviously when the other really famous action uh, um, in that particular area is the, is the assault on the Merval Battery, which the Airborne had oh, taken part in. Oh, yeah, yeah, But I, I believe that about you that. were involved in it. You've yeah, got so yeah, many stories to tell. You forgot up. about Merval Battery. Yeah, I forgot about that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, that was the next day, the 7th of uh, must name only four and five troop under the orders of um, Windy Gal, we used to call him. He was the governor of the airborne, or he was the governor of that area, and um, uh, that was a failure. Yeah, we had no no plan or whatsoever. Just go out in front section after section like that. And who got us out of trouble once again? Dear Peter Young. Who should still be there. <laughs> and how did he do that? Well, he, t he, he told us to get out. Yeah. And we had to go across a minefield and, uh, and we set all the bloody mines off. All, all Little West mines, they're, they're like a, a can of beans. Only about a size of that. They go about four foot high and they're full of ball bearings. And they explode. Mm. We had quite a few casualties with them. 